Hey friends and welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you some cedar planter boxes that we've had on our to-do list for quite some time. And to make these, we just got four cedar planks that we've had these, but you can get them at Lowe's fairly inexpensively. And these are the dimensions on ours and they're just cedar fence pickets. And the first thing that we are going to do is just cut the picket part off of our fence so we have a straight board to work with. If you want it to, you could sand these down, but since these are kind of raw, they're gonna be outside, they're gonna kind of, you know, weather like cedar does. Um, we did not sand them at all, but if you want to sand them just so they're not as kind of splintery, I guess, you can go ahead and do that too. We just skipped that. Then we measured our whole plank and found the middle, and we're going to cut three of our boards right in half, right down that middle line. These four boards are going to give us two planter boxes and really we probably could have gotten a third smaller planter box out of it as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is just pre-drill some holes down the side of one of our boards for our planter box and then this is going to make it easier to screw in screws to the other edge of the board since these are fairly thin. And we're going to use some wood glue along that edge too, just so our planter boxes have some extra strength. And we are just holding these up together, so we are drilling into where we pre-drilled our holes and drilling into another plank. So all three of these sides are the same length, if that makes sense, because we've cut three boards in half to give us six boards of the same length, right? So we're just holding these into place and going down and I think we end up putting one, two, three, four, five screws um, down the whole board. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to put five screws on the edge. So once you get the top screwed in, we flipped it over and we did the bottom screw and then it was a lot easier to do the middle screws. So instead of going down the line, essentially we did the top one and the bottom one and then the middle one. And now we have our back or our front, whichever way that's going to be on the planner box. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And this side is a lot easier because you can lay the whole thing on the ground and, you know, work with gravity. So same thing. We put wood glue on the edge of our board. We pre-screwed or pre-drilled holes for our screws. And then we are just drilling down those five screws to hold the front of our planner box in place. So here we go with that. And then we are going to do the ends of our planter box. So for our end, we're taking that fourth board that we didn't cut at all, and it slides right into these two boards, just kind of like a puzzle piece, boom, just like that. And we're just gonna mark where we need to cut it so we can put it onto and attach it to our planner box. And we're just kind of dry fitting it into place here to make sure it kind of fits the way we want it to. And then we are going to, again, pre-drill holes into the sides. And we just put one at the top and one at the bottom of where this little piece is going to be. And we did just like the side boards or the front and the back and the bottom boards. We put glue on the edge of the piece, slid it in, and then just added those four screws to hold it all into place.
And that's our end of our planter box there, our little flower box. And again, we're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So it's a complete box <laughs> and we can put our plants in it. And again, four picket posts like this will give you two boxes that are about three feet long since they are six foot fence posts. And while Corey is attaching this other end to the planner box, I do want to talk to you guys a little bit and thank you for supporting my channel. I know that the world is really weird right now and I haven't been posting DIYs regularly with my schedule because I am social distancing like the rest of the world and going out to stores like Dollar Tree or Lowe's is not high priority on my list. So I'm trying to just wait until I have projects that we already have planned that we are just getting done around our home to film those for you guys instead of going out into the world right now. And I hope you guys can appreciate that and just stick around and know that my regular schedule will come back eventually putting two DIYs up a week. But that's where I have been with the rest of the world kind of just locked away at our home for now and I hope you guys are at home and being safe too. So hold off on this project if you don't have the things that you need and wait till the world opens again and you can make these planters. But know that I am still around and I am seeing your comments on my old videos and I love to see those. So thank you for the support. So this is one of the planner boxes completely finished and again we made two of these and we could probably make a third smaller one too. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always you can find more from us here. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow all of our adventures. Give it a big thumbs up, tap that bell, and let me know down in the comments how are you surviving in the world right now? Like are you doing okay? I'd love to hear from you guys. Bye. Whoops. Don't tell don't don't tell YouTube. Let me just get some flowers. Ah! <laughs>